in this video the collection home v w of all homomorphisms between two vector spaces v and w over a field f is proved to be a vector space over the same field f now you take v and w to be two vector spaces over a field f then consider the collection home v w of all uh, homomorphisms uh, say t from v to w such that u plus v of t is ut plus vt name that is equation 1 and alpha u t is equal to alpha u t uh, this is defined for all u v in v and alpha in f the second one is named as equation 2 now in order to have omv w to be a <coughs> vector space over uh, f we need to have uh, two operations one is addition the other one is scalar multiplication let addition be defined in this way that is u of t1 plus t2 is ut1 plus ut2 name that as equation 3 and u lambda t is defined as lambda ut uh, name that as equation 4 and these two are defined for all u in v and lambda in f now uh, the proof consists of two claims in the first claim that we're going to have that home w to be an abelian group under addition and in the second we will verify v1 v2 v3 and v4 the four axioms for home v w to be a vector space over f so to prove that home v w is an abelian group under addition uh, we need to have the um, the following axioms the first one closure with respect to addition and scalar multiplication is to be checked so we prove that for t1 and t2 in home v w t1 plus t2 belongs to home v w and for all lambda in f your uh, lambda t belongs to home v w of course our t belongs to home v w so that is to prove that uh, in order to have t1 plus t2 to belong to home v w the two conditions whatever we have mentioned here should be true for t1 uh, these two conditions to be true for uh, t1 plus t2 and similarly for lambda t also that is Uh, we need to prove that u plus v of t1 plus t2 is u of t1 plus t2 plus v of t1 plus t2 and uh, alpha u t1 plus t2 is alpha into u t1 plus t2 u plus v of lambda t is u lambda t plus v lambda t and alpha u lambda t is alpha into u lambda t for all u v in v and lambda in f now to prove the first one we'll consider the left hand side of the first uh, subdivision um, we have by using 3 this is uh, the, the third equation that is point wise addition so that is used here uh, so you have u plus v of t1 plus u plus v of t2 that is treating u plus v as single element and using 3 we have this step and uh, because t1 is a homomorphism if we make use of equation 1 this is what we get uh ut1 plus vt1 plus ut2 plus vt2 that's by 1 and um, uh, because w see th these are elements in the codomain namely w so we use the commutativity in uh, um, uh, in w so you have the step and then again make use of equation 3 that is point wise addition that we get this so that is our rhs of the first subdivision and uh, for the lhs of the second subdivision we consider uh, the lhs of 2 and um, using 3 that is this we have alpha u of uh, t1 plus alpha u of t2 to be by 2 becomes that is the second uh, condition for uh, t1 to be a homomorphism that's used here and similarly t2 is a homomorphism that condition the second condition for t2 is also used so we get this step and then uh, by v2 in w because w is a vector space all the axioms v1 to v4 hold good in w so we make use of v2 here to have this step and then again make use of 3 in the point wise addition to have this and that is nothing but your rhs of the second subdivision now we consider um, the third one lhs of the third one if we consider then uh, using 4 that is this we get this as lambda into u plus v of t and because uh, t is a homomorphism by 1 we get this step and uh, by v1 in w we have this step and um, uh, by 4 that is this definition again point wise addition as for scalar multiplication is concerned so we have this step and that is nothing but the 
RHS of the third one. So next uh, LHS of the fourth uh, subdivision is considered and that is alpha u lambda t and using 4 we have this step and uh, uh, because t is a homomorphism we make use of the second condition so you have this step and um, by v3 in w that is a w again being a vector space v3 is used so we get this step and because uh, f is commutative with regard to multiplication we make use of that and you get this step and um, Again, V3 in W is used to get this step and um, uh, finally, we make use of uh, the fourth one to get the last step. <coughs> Next, we check the associativity with respect to plus. So far, we have proved only closure. Next is associativity with respect to plus. So that is, we need to prove that for all T1, T2, T3 in home B W. T1 plus T2 plus T3 is equal to T1 plus T2 plus T3. So, in order to have the mappings to be equal, we need to prove that the images are equal. So, we need to establish that U of T1 plus T2 plus T3 is equal to U of T1 plus T2 plus T3 for all U in V. So, if you consider the left hand side by using third uh, condition, that is the third equation that uh, we have this step and um, uh, by point wise uh, addition that's given in 3 again uh, we have this step and by associativity in w we get this step and again using our third one third equation we get this and um, uh, we make use of uh, the third one again to have this step and that is your rhs so next is the existence of identity obviously the zero homomorphism from V to W uh, which takes we know already that zero map takes any vector to vector zero for all u in V and that is the additive identity then uh, for any t minus t is the inverse of t in uh, home B W so uh, that proves the existence of uh, inverse and um, because lambda t is always a uh, member so in the same way we can uh, claim that minus t is also a member in home w now commutativity so for which we need to prove that for all uh, t1 and t2 in home w t1 plus t2 is equal to t2 plus t1 again we want to have two mappings to be equal so we have to prove that the images are equal so uh, we need to prove this in order to prove this so you consider the lhs now point to is addition using third one here so we have um, uh, this step and then using commutativity in W we have this step and again make use of the third one to get the right side. So that proves the first claim. Next uh, in claim 2 we have home EW to satisfy the axioms V1, V2, V3 and V4. So for which uh, for the first uh, V1 we consider alpha and beta to be elements of F and T1, T2 to be in home EW. Then uh, what we need to prove in V1 is this alpha T1 plus T2 is equal to alpha T1 plus alpha T2. So in order to prove this again these two are mappings to prove that the mappings are equal we have to prove that the corresponding images are equal. So for all U in V we need to establish this we consider the left hand side. So you have um, this to be U alpha U the image of U and of this and that is alpha into uh, the image of u under t1 plus t2 that's by 4 equation 4 is used here and um, this is nothing but by equation 3 we have this step and we make use of v1 uh, in w so using which we get this step and um, you make use of equation 4 you get this step and um, by 3 again um, a pointwise addition that is used for this mapping alpha t1 alpha t2 so we get this step and that's your rhs so in the same way v2 uh, what we need to prove is for alpha beta in um, <coughs> f alpha plus beta of uh, uh, not of alpha plus beta t is alpha t plus beta t that is again we need to prove that uh, the image uh, um, images are equal for the mappings to be equal so we consider uh, the lhs this is what we have to establish and we consider the lhs 
So this is what we have and make, we make use of equation 4 to have this and um, make use of uh, V2 in W to get this step and again make use of equation 4 to get this step and by 3 that is pointwise addition for the mappings after T and beta T we get this step so and that's your RHS so you have um, V2 to be proved. And uh, for V3, we consider alpha, beta, T and we'll have to show that it is alpha times beta, T. So again, images are to be equal. So we need to prove that for all U in V, U of alpha, beta, T is equal to U, uh, uh, U of alpha uh, into beta, T. So we consider LHS, we have this and by 4, we get this and we make use of V3 to have this step. And by V4, this, uh, uh, that is fourth equation, that is fourth equation that we use here, we get this. And uh, again, make use of uh, 4 uh, to get this step. So you have uh, the RHS of this equation. Now, V4 is uh, 1 into T is uh, T. That is, we need to prove that, uh, the again, images are equal. So that means this is what we have to establish. So you consider LHS. So that is u uh, of uh, 1 into t. So that is nothing but 1 into ut by 4. And this is nothing but ut. That's by v4 in w. And that gives the RHS. So that proves claim 2. So having established claim 1 and claim 2, we, we conclude that home bw is a vector space over f. Now, um, if you look at um, equation 2 and 4, the, the right hand side may look alike. It's only that it's alpha that's used here and here it is lambda. But here it is coming under the definition of scalar multiplication. Here it's coming under the definition of homomorphism. Even though the right side is the same, when we give the reason, we have to be cautious that for uh, uh, what reason that we have that step. So, uh, this video concludes with home VW to be a vector space over F.